all right fam so look i came across another crazy video from the same guy that i reacted to in my last video if you haven't seen that video i think the title was like if you are not wise this video may make you extremely mad something like that the very very last video y'all gotta go check it out bro because dog that video was crazy i mean my brother was dropping facts okay so you gotta go check it out but he dropped another video the anti-asianist within the black community Woo! I already know this one's finna be good. Hey, man, shout out to him, bro. Let me shout out his channel real quick. It's also in the link description box below, but Charlie... Yeah, I'm just gonna say Charlie because I, I, ain't, go, I ain't gonna try to say his last name. But anyways, shout out to my brother, man. Go ahead and check him out in the link description box below. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Of the rampant anti-Asian racism I'm seeing from the black community. I started this YouTube channel a year ago to bring light to this specific issue. Hi, guys. I'm here to talk about the rampant anti-Asian racism I'm seeing from the black community. I started this YouTube channel a year ago to bring light to this specific issue. If you're here because of my last video, I have one thing to ask of you. Please like and watch the video in its entirety that will broaden the video's reach. At the end of- I got you, my brother. I got you right off the rip. I got you, brother. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and, and I'm gonna subscribe to you, my brother. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, come on. In this video, I make a public demand. So I already know what some of you are gonna say. This is causing racial division. We need solidarity. Not all black people are doing this. Why are you generalizing? White people are racist against Asians too. Why aren't you talking about that? What about the anti-blackness in the Asian community? It's the media that's making it seem like black people are harming Asians more. Yeah, this video is meant for you to hopefully serve as a cold dose of reality. If you count yourself to be an open-minded person, I ask you to listen to what I have to say before jumping on to the comment section. The precise reason why I want to talk about this is because we live in a society where we Asian people can feel free to talk day and night about how white people are racist against us but are immediately silenced when we try to talk about the anti-Asianness in the black community. And I, while I was walking down the street from my, from my high school to Walgreens, I was walking with three of my uh, friends from both China and Taiwan crossing the crosswalk. There is a car just rush, like rushed through us, driven by an African American, shouting that go, go back to your home, like go back from where you are from. We're not hurt. It's just shocked and scared of our safety. And this white lady uh, kindly asked, "Can I, uh, can I call the police? Can I do anything for you?" We're like, "It's okay. Thank you very much for your care." The point I'm making here is that we should not distinguish people by their race or or gender or anything. Black people can be racist. White people, sorry. Oh, no. I, 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 wow. I, I, so as soon as she say black people can be racist, oh, it was a big problem. It was a big problem. Man, I, I'm tired of the double standard within the black community. I'm tired of it, bro. I'm seriously tired of it. As soon as she went on to say that black people can be racist, hey, go to black lady. Oh, let me, calm down. Like, let me let me talk to you. Like, no, bro. I like when people actually point out the wrong within the black community because, bro, it's so much wrong within this community. It's not like it's not nothing else wrong in every other community, but no, it's always black people that got to say something when it's when they're being held accountable for their actions. They always got they always got some remorse. They always got something to say back. You know what I'm saying? They always got something to say back when somebody's trying to hold them accountable for the actions that they be doing. Nah, it's a problem. <laughs> man, black people can't be racist, man. I don't care. I don't care what nobody said. Black people can definitely be racist. Let's start by saying I have very much a problem when a person of any race, white, black, Latino, or otherwise, commit hate crimes against Asian people. It makes my blood boil. And let's also start off by saying that when a black person harms an Asian person, that doesn't mean that all black people are suddenly responsible for that. Just as in the same vein, when a white person harms an Asian person, that doesn't mean that all white people are responsible for it. I think I need to say this because our world is going crazy. You are only personally responsible for things that are within your control. Oh! You're Can I get an amen in a freaking church? Can I get an amen? Man, I swear, if y'all don't go subscribe to this man channel, bro, I mean, this man be speaking facts, bro. How many times have I said in previous videos, bro, everybody's their own individual person. It don't matter. Just because one black person does something to harm you does not mean that the whole group of community of black people are racist. Does not mean that the whole community of uh, white people are racist. You got one bad experience with white people, then you put it on the whole entire community of white people and say, oh, all white people are racist. All white people are this. All white people are mayo monsters. Like, bro, how could you even say that about a whole community of people when everybody's their own individual? Individual person 
You are only in control. You are only in control of what you do, not what somebody else do, what you do. So if you're racist to another person's, you are in control of that. You know what I'm saying? Don't put that on everybody else that's, sur that, that's surrounded with that color. Bro, this man be, man, man, hey, bro, if you watching this, dog, we got to collab. I ain't going to lie. I don't even collab with people. You'll be the first collab. Bro, we have to collab. Charlie, whatever, I don't even know. Hey, I need y'all to do me a big favor. I don't know how many views this video go get, but it don't matter about the views. Go to his channel right here. Spam the comment section with collab with the pen. Collab with the pen. Because, bro, man, you, man, you got to talk. We have to talk, bro. We have to talk. Because the, the things that you say, dog, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Go to his channel, bro. Y'all got, bro, help me out, man. I got to reach out to this man. If y'all don't do it, I'll just go to his Instagram. But still, bro, I got to reach out to this man, bro. This man, man. You're only responsible for your own acts. Nothing else. But then we can't just say black people harming Asians are the actions of the few and then end the conversation there because of the sheer magnitude of the problem. The near daily attacks, black people cussing Asian people out, punching and spitting and kicking Asian people and killing Asian yep. people. There mm -hmm. are dozens to hundreds of these cases every month, especially in the city of San Francisco. This is happening every day. And if you're saying hundreds, you're exaggerating. This is why I need to make this video. People are not realizing the magnitude of what's going on because the national news media is not broadcasting this fact as incessantly as one might expect if there were hundreds of videos each month of black people getting punched, spat on, and kicked. Only the rare exceptionally grotesque cases makes it onto the national news. At the height of the pandemic, they shined a quick and passing light on a number of these videos only because within that concentrated period of time, it became too obvious that this was happening and they could not afford to ignore it without losing the public's trust. But this is happening to this day and your average anti-Asian hate crime makes it all the way up to local news. And the scattered and dispersed nature of reporting on what is happening means this problem is not rising to the public's consciousness. Bro, I just feel like the news, they make, they make, they want black people to still feel like we're living in, like we're, we're still in slavery times. Like they want us to feel like that because they only, they only would show when an officer, most likely a white officer, killing a black person like they will show that before they show oh asian people get oh i'm sorry guys i didn't mean to do that i'm sorry i hit the mic y'all ears okay okay anyways but they 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 won't show an asian person getting a hate on it you know what i'm saying they won't show a white person getting hate on it. they won't show these things they won't so then you know what I'm saying for for people that watch the news all the time and all they see is black people getting hate on and black people getting uh spit on and all types of things then they that make you think like dang this is really happening in the world only to black people why are they not showing the white people give you why are they not showing then you got black people thinking that oh it's not happening to white people it's not happening to Asians that it's not happening to no other race but black no that is false we are living in America. We all have the goddamn same president. We all, you know what I'm saying? We all, we all going through, we all going through hell. I'm, I'm, let me keep it real. We all going through hell right now, bro. You know what I'm saying? We all, we all suffer with the same gas prices. Well, depending on what state you live in. You know, we all suffering with the same gas prices. We all suffering with food costs. We all suffering with everything that's going on within America. We all suffering from it. You know what I'm saying? Police brutality, that's in every community, bro. It's not black people that just getting beat on by police. Trust and believe me. But they're not going to show a white officer or a black officer being on a white white person. They're not going to show that. They're not going to show that because it's not important. It's not. That's not what people want to see. It's like black people. They want to see black people. They want to see black people. Want to see other black people get hurt by other people. That's what they want to see. They want to have. They want to still have that victim mentality. That's what they want. If you want to see the true scale of what's been going on, I recommend you watch my very first YouTube video I made a year ago. I listed out the black and Asian hate crimes that happened within the span of a month. It's one after another happening day after day. And bear in mind, this, these are only cases that A is reported to the police and B that the news media picked up on. It's a small subset of a subset. In reality, there is a bigger undercurrent of this rampant anti-Asianness that we're talking about. Just within my own circle, I know multiple cases of this happening. They didn't report it to the police and it wasn't picked up by the news. How many more cases like this are out there? And at what point after hundreds of these videos do these cases no longer constitute isolated incidents? So then here's the most important conversation. If this is happening, what do we do about it? As I've said, this doesn't mean that all black people are doing this or that all black people are anti-Asian. But exactly. no matter how many times I say that, I found people still go like, oh, why are you generalizing? It's such a disingenuous attempt to deflect 
from having a conversation about this. And the conversation should go like this. We can all agree that when a black person commits an anti-Asian act or an Asian person commits an anti-black act, that doesn't mean that the entire communities are responsible for their actions. But to the extent that we're having group level conversations, for example, about the anti-blackness within the Asian community, so too do we need to have group level conversations about the anti-Asianness in the black community. And the reason why this continues to happen is because we're not doing that. If you're saying, oh yeah, we already do, uh, no, we don't. <laughs> conversations in private circles do not count. <coughs> I'm talking about public discussions. I've kept up with these conversations. I've seen our Asian community so-called leaders have conversations with black community leaders on TV about race relations and talk over and over again about the anti-blackness within the Asian community. And not a single sentence on the anti-Asianness in the black community. Amazingly, I've seen mainstream news channels do special segments about stop Asian hate and mention within these segments the anti-blackness within the Asian community without saying one word about the anti-Asianness in the black community. I love you. I love you. What's your name? What's your name again? Charlie? I love you, Charlie. Charlie, I love you. I love you, brother. Bro, because, it, it, bro, it's hard to speak facts nowadays. Because people, they like feelings over facts. But this man speaking nothing but facts. Speaking nothing but facts. It's hard to do that. Even on my channel, they will try to cancel me because I'm speaking the facts. They want to hear your feelings. They want you to say that, oh, black people go through this and black people, they're so oppressed and everything happens to black people. They want you to have that. They want the world. The, let me say this. The, the uh, blue, <laughs> if you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? They, they want to see black people still have that, vic that victim mentality. They want them to still feel like victims. That's what they want to feel. That's what they want them to feel like. But then come election time, guess what? They want to, woo, woo, black people this, black people that, black people this. Now black people are all voting blue. Vote in blue. Vote in blue. Because they think that they care about us. Vote in blue. I'm just saying. It's the real thing, bro. I'm literally, I'm literally stating the facts. I'm stating the facts. It's sad. It's, it's sad, but it's the world that we live in today. It's the world that we live in, man. Segment that's supposed to be about our issues. Our Asian leaders having conversations, doing public speeches, and on social media call out the anti-blackness within our own, which is the right thing to do. But they stay silent as hundreds of videos emerge of black people brutalizing Asians. I've been to stop Asian hate rallies and have seen again our so-called leaders denounce on stage the anti-blackness within our community and talk about how white supremacy is dividing us all and not, not a single word on the anti-Asianness within the black community. And in those same rallies, I've seen black activists, which Thank you from the bottom of my heart for showing up. But I've seen them come up on stage and talk about anti-Asian hate without mentioning how there's a real anti-Asianist problem in the black community. In fact, I have not heard a single black activist, community leader, politician, media personality with a platform publicly mention a sentence about the rampant anti-Asianist within the black community, much less have a long and sustained conversation about it. With the only exception of Sean King. I've seen Asian people be demonized for talking about anti-Asianness in the black community on social media and in real life, while when black people talk about their anti-blackness within the Asian community, everyone nods along as a matter of course. And if you're wondering why all of that is going on, because it wouldn't seem to make sense, right? Why this disparate treatment? The mainstream narrative is that even if it's not a white person harming Asians, it's still white supremacy because white supremacy pits communities of color against one another. And so even if black people harm Asians, white supremacy is to blame. And then we're told we can't have a conversation about anti-Asianness in the black community because it's divisive and we need solidarity and unite against white supremacy. Well, well then, doesn't that same logic flow to the anti-blackness in the Asian community? If supposedly white supremacy is at fault when Asian people harm black people because it pits communities of color against one another, isn't talking about anti-blackness in the Asian community also problematic for that same reason because it's divisive and we need solidarity, unite against white supremacy, all of that? Yeah. It doesn't make sense. But I'll give you another explanation that I think more accurately describes what's going on here. What's actually going on here is that the black community has greater political power than the Asian community within the political aisle that purports to represent all of us, the progressive left. With this disparity in political power and influence, we're seeing a situation where anti-blackness in the Asian community is being publicly discussed, but not the anti-Asianness in the black community. <laughs> And this, you know, is the reason why I feel the need to speak up against the wokeism ideology that has taken over the progressive left, because that is the, the thing that is underlying all of this. 
Because according to the ideology, there are two categories of people, the oppressor and the oppressed. Mm. With all the dimensions with which you could form discrete categories of people, race, gender, sexuality, so on and so forth. And within the category of the oppressed, there's rankings of the groups by how oppressed they are. And according to the dictates of this belief system, you can say whatever you want about the oppressor group, but you cannot say anything critical about groups that are higher up in the ladder of oppression, while you can say critical things about the groups lower in the ladder. And so what this ideology does is it accords groups highest up in the oppression ladder the power to dominate social and political discussions as it pertains to these group categories. That is the whole thing behind what so many people believe nowadays, that you cannot be racist to white people because they're in the oppressor group. And that what they say last week, you cannot oppress the oppressor. <laughs> you, bro, that's all BS, man. That's all BS, bro. You can be racist to whoever, to whatever skin color. It doesn't matter. So when people are oh, black people not racist, man, shut up. Whoever told you that black people are not racist, you and them need to go get help. Most importantly, you need Jesus. That's what you need in your life. Because if you feel like black people can't be rela related, uh, what? If you feel like black people can't be racist, that's that's the dumbest thing you could ever say. How can you even say that black people can't be racist to white people? Or, oh, white people uh, or Asians can't be racist to uh, white people. Or nobody can be racist to white people. Now, how can you even say something like that? If you judge a person based off the color of their skin, if you don't like a person because of the color of their skin, if you do anything to a person because of the color of their skin, God dang it. Okay? You're racist. It's so simple. It's like, how more simpler can it get? That black people cannot be racist because they don't have the power to be racist. Because they're the highest up in the ladder of the oppressed category. And all the things that I've said earlier about how anti-blackness in the Asian community is discussed in the public sphere, but not the anti-Asianness in the black community, that is a manifestation of this belief system. Some people are under the belief that we can't talk about anti-Asianness in the black community because they're the most oppressed and will silence you by saying that talking about it is divisive. But they don't say it's divisive to talk about the anti-blackness within our community. And in, in effect, this gives the black community the power to escape accountability Amen. because they have a support system of people of all races who believe that to hold the black community accountable is to perpetuate the oppression of the group highest up on the oppression ladder. And they will attack and vilify anyone who dares to speak about it. As it stands, we Asian people are free to talk about the racism we experience from white people all day long, no social repercussions. But we cannot talk about the racism we experience from black people without being canceled. Bro, you can't talk about no racism that you experience from black people. You can't talk about black, bro, you can't even talk about black people. You can't, you can't call them names. You can't do none of that. But bro, you can call a white person a mayo monster, a Q-tip. You know what I'm saying? You can call white people all these type of names. And if you haven't seen my videos, you should definitely go watch my videos because it was a lady. She was black. It was a video I reacted to. I forgot the title of it. But yeah, she was talking about how white people are mayo monsters. It was crazy. But anyways, bro, you, you know what I'm saying? You can't say nothing about black people without being canceled. And they thinking, oh, you're racist. You're this. You're a disgrace. You all these different things. But when a white person do something or when you, you know what I'm saying, when you talk about a white person or anything like that, bro, they, you don't get bashed. You ain't going to get hurt. So half of the white people, they be like, yeah, you're right. I am. I am a mayo monster. Yeah, you're right. You know, I'm sorry that you had to go through all them things. You know, I, I wish I can right, really beat my ancestors butt and, and hurt them because the things that you people went through, you people of color, which is the most racist thing you could say, because when did white never become a color? <laughs> like, that's like, that's racist itself. You people of color, like, come on, bro. Like, you can be racist no matter what. You know what I'm saying? Stop saying people of color. We are all colored. No matter you're white, Asian, we're all color, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Let's be real. Let's really be real. <laughs> Black people can be racist. White people, sorry. Oh, no. Okay. Society tells us that we cannot talk about it. Then what that means is that you don't care about the racism we endure unless it fits your worldview and your agenda. So you don't care about anti-Asian racism. You just want to use us as a political pawn. Mm. And the same people that adhere to these views, many of them our own people attempt to put blindfolds over themselves and others in order to explain facts that contradict their belief system. They see hundreds upon hundreds of these videos that have emerged last year, and they say it's the anti-black media that is making it seem like black people are brutalizing Asians when it's white people doing it more. I'm sorry, but oh my god, I'm exhausted with this conspiracy theory BS. Really? The media? The same mainstream media that espoused progressive views all day long with the one exception of Fox News? 
the MSNBC show that has repeatedly had on people that talk about white people having a violent character? Or is it CNN who will run breaking news segments when a sensational story about a white person inflicting violence on a person of color comes along, but mm. tweets that a car, yeah, a car, killed six people when a black man who professes hate for white people on social media rammed through six white people during a Christmas parade? Is it the mainstream media that is making it artificially seem like black people are disproportionately harming Asians? Or is it the case that people are pointing to the less than usual instances where the media is actually showing what's happening on the ground and then saying it's anti-black to show it? The kind of reaction and public backlash which is the very reason why the media tends not to do this in the first place. And let me ask you a few more questions. If it was actually the case that hundreds of these videos are not representative of reality, that white people are doing it more, and that there are thousands of videos of white people brutalizing Asians that the anti-black media is, is sur surreptitiously hiding for the public, wouldn't we have noticed by now? If there were actually thousands of videos of white people brutalizing Asian people, isn't it far more likely that the media will be broadcasting it day after day, talking about this emergency, how white supremacy is endangering Asian Americans, since that has been their talking point all throughout? And if there were to be, hypothetically, hundreds of videos of Asian people beating, spitting, and kicking black people, will we not be hearing relentlessly in our public discourse how the Asian community needs to address the anti-blackness within? Wouldn't the black community rightfully be demanding that of us? So why aren't we? We need to start standing up for ourselves. Yeah. Look, I don't need to say much more. If you're interested, you can watch the, the full two hour video I uploaded a year earlier. Just want to reiterate yet again, if you're a black person who is out there living their life and have done nothing to harm Asian folks, you are not responsible for any of this. Nobody is entitled to demand anything of you just because other black people are committing anti-Asian acts. And I just want to send a clear message to Asian folks that just because this is happening to us doesn't then give us license to respond back with hate to those black people who are not doing this to us. Having said all this, the calculus is different for black communities, political and thought leaders and organizations who are engaging in public race relations discourse in an inequitable manner. So I would like to make the public demand the same demand I made a year ago in my original video. I demand that leaders of the black community whose only comments about the rampant anti-Asian violence amounted to it's because of white supremacy to publicly state that anti-Asianness within the black community is a serious problem. And I demand that they lay out a plan, steps to take, to curtail the black on Asian racial violence that has pervaded our society without anyone saying anything. If we as a society are having ongoing public conversations about anti-blackness within our community, so too should we expect ongoing public conversations about the anti-Asianness within the black community. Thank you for watching. Wish me luck. I wish you as much luck as possible, my brother, because bro, <laughs> This man, like, when I watched his last video, I was like, bro, I'm, like, I'm, I'm in shock. Like, this man has, like, like, I thought Officer Tatum and Black Conservative Perspective had, like, the same thoughts. I thought we had the same, like, kind of thoughts. But, man, this guy, oh, bro, we, like, on a whole nother different level, fam. Whole nother different level. You know what I'm saying? Man, shout out to Charlie, bro. Shout out to this man for really speaking up, okay? Because it's hard to speak up in today's generation because you're going to get canceled. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you're speaking against black people. It's like every time you speak against black people on YouTube, it's like, boom, demonetized. Boom, yellow mark. Hmm, you may make a little bit of money, but no. It's not, you know what I'm saying? It's like at this point, I just want to speak out and just put this in the light. You feel me? I just want to put this in the light. So that, so with that being said, if you guys can go ahead and go to my Rumble, okay? Because, look, I ain't gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? I never did YouTube for the money. I don't want y'all to get that in y'all head, but it, you ain't gonna lie. A brother gotta pay bills, so you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all go ahead and go to Rumble, you feel me? Um... Uh, yeah, so go to Rumble, check out the videos that I have on Rumble. Also, shout out to Charlie once again. I definitely got to collab with the man. Definitely go get that locked in. You know, I'm going to collab with this man. But let me know what y'all think about this video in the comment section below, man. Hit the like button, subscribe to my post notifications. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace. <laughs>